Hey guys, welcome back to another Krita tutorial. Today we're gonna go over how to clean up your traditional sketches and how to use them to make line art without having um, to make a duplicate layer and multiply it and have, you know, two layers of line art to color in between. The process works regardless of your scan quality, but usually the higher the DPI, the better or results you're gonna get. Uh, I think the image I'm using is I believe it's a 600 dpi that I scanned it at, and it, it works pretty well. And you can import the scan as a new layer if you want to make a new document. So if you want to go to a new file, whatever this is, and then uh, layer, import, import layer, and then you can import the image, or you can just open the image directly, which is what I'm going to do, just to make it easier. It's just, I'd rather do that. <laughs> and then you can see, um, the transparency better because if you make a new document and you have a canvas color you would have to turn that canvas color off in your image properties to see that it actually is being transparent or at least see that um you can you can see the alpha easier so here's my sketch here now the only thing is that might be different between what you're doing and i'm doing is i usually sketch in pen and I normally only have purple pens around me, so most of my sketches would be in purple pen. This isn't going to affect the process, it might just add an extra step if you are using a color, which it still works just fine. It's just a little extra something that is good to know. So the first thing we're going to go to is filter. We're going to go to colors and color to alpha. Zoom in here. So automatically this is going to be white and as you can see all of my white disappeared and the checkerboard here means that this is now a transparent layer and it does a really good job like this is pen and it's you know just a ballpoint purple pen so you can see that even with that purple it still gets most of that white really really well i mean even in between these lines here i, I can see that it's transparent if i go here you can see that gray box you know, even in between all this, it's transparent. It picks it up really well. Now, if you're using colored paper or maybe there are some other colors on it you don't want, you can change with the color picker. Let me zoom in here. So I have to be careful because with the way I scanned in, or the way I was drawing this, I went over the same line a couple times. So that purple is really dark to almost black. So if I pick the purple, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll pick this right here. I'll hit OK. It definitely takes a lot of that purple away, as you can see it's very transparent. But the areas that were almost black are still solid. But they have a little bit of transparency to them. So I can go ahead and alter my threshold. And really increase that. Now you can see it's really blended in more. It's, if I take that away, I'm adding all that back in. This is a good way to refine that um, color picker and the alpha and all that fun stuff. I'm going to cancel that. I'm just going to go back to the white. I'm going to hit OK because this is pretty clean as it is. I'm pretty happy with this result. There, so now we have a nice clean transparent layer to work with. But now we have to get rid of that purple. So, you can go to filter, you can go to adjust, we can desaturate it. That automatically takes out any color that we have. I go back to filter, adjust, and then go to levels. Now I want to bring all of this here. Move this back up here. There we go. So that's as close to black as I'm going to get. But, I think that's pretty good. I hit OK, and now I now have some... I mean, it's not... A sketch, it's a sketch, so it's not super clean, but to work with, this is a very good base. And I didn't do a test, and what's even better, you can use the Colorize, uh, the colorize Mask tool. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. The Colorize Mask tool, which is this button right here. And then click anywhere on that layer. So now that we see it's been activated, I'm going to pick orange here, 
And you can, I'm using my mouse for this, I'm sorry. Uh, you can just scribble in, get his little feet here. This in, color his head in. Now because I have such sketchy lines here, I have to make sure I'm getting as much of this pumpkin as I can. Another one. I like this one. That one. Okay, and I want a transparent layer, so I'm just going to use blue around it. A ball line here. I'm gonna mark that as transparent. Edit keystrokes and update. This might take a minute depending on how big your image is, how much you're doing, which is normal. It's not a super speedy tool, but let me rephrase that. It really expedites your process. It just takes a little while to get that process done. But honestly, I'm okay with that. Oh, did that? I oh, know it is updating. Okay. So I'll probably time lapse this. All right. So now we're done. As you can see, it. I mean, it worked really well. Here, there's a little bit of, missed a little bit of areas here, which really isn't that big of a deal. You can just use the brush tool. Let me convert this first. Here, convert paint layer. Oops. There we go. I missed that spot myself. I mean, for the most part, the cleanup for that isn't is very minimal. Like this, I picked it up really well here. I don't think there's a lot of spots it missed. Nope. Cool. So that's how you can get some really nice line art for your sketches that you can scan in into Krita and how to use other tools with it. And as you can see, the results are really nice. I think I might actually Oh no, should I keep them sketchy? Now I want to like keep them a sketchy little, little sketch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well that's pretty much it. <laughs> so hopefully this helps you guys out, especially if you're new to digital art in general and you want like a, a slow uh, introduction to it, this is a good way. And it's also showing how powerful Creedy can be, even with your traditional art. Hope you guys learned something, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the video below, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials and more videos, which will hopefully be coming out really soon. I have a ton in the works, I just haven't had time to edit them, I apologize. But thanks for sticking with me, and I will see you guys in the next video.